Hey Aquarius, Empress 777 here today with a daily love reading. Guys, your response to the channel has been so phenomenal. I really do appreciate all the love and support that's been given thus far. So it's only fitting that I try something new. I'm going to try to come on and give you guys a daily reading. Um, please let me know. Do uh, let me know how you um, feel about that. We'll definitely take a look at the response that we get to these daily love readings from my Aqua Gang. So very loyal, guys. I do appreciate it. If you have not clicked that subscribe button, please do so now. Holy Angels and Spirit, guys, please give me clear, concise messages for my Aqua Gang. All right, let's see what we get. Clear, concise messages for my Aquas. Let's cleanse our area here. Hope you guys are all doing well. Hope your day is treating you good as well. Now I love to start with a few Oracle cards always. So let's take a look and see what we got. Also, I love when you guys comment and let me know what's going on if you do resonate. I love reading your, uh, your feedback, your stories and um, you know, just the things that are going on with you in general. So continue to do so. I try to uh, like everyone's comment. Um, as we grow, I don't know <laughs> how realistic that will be, but I'll certainly try. Okay, Your cards are flying out here, Aqua. All right, so, ooh, yin and yang. That wasn't the first card. So the first card is always the most strongest. Blossoming Abundance. Wow. All right. So I feel like you guys are really in the mode of manifesting. Okay. I think that you have taken your focus and um, attention off of a particular situation. This is a love reading. So I have to gear that more towards a love connection, a love situation. It could have been a situation that you just felt you were not getting um, payoff back from your investment. You felt like you weren't getting a return on your investment. And so I definitely get the feeling that you have refocused your energy and your time and your effort into something, into something else, whether that be a new project. Um, maybe some of you guys have gotten a promotion. Maybe you're going out for a new position, a new job. Maybe you're starting a new business, whatever it is. This is going to really bring an overflow of abundance and money and fulfillment. Um, into your life. So I really do like that. With this yin and yang card, I have to say that it does look like things are going to be, become really balanced. Wow. Okay. So care and connections. All right. So guys, you may have new love coming in. Okay. Either new love or the connection that you are um, currently cultivated in is one that will continue to bring abundance to your life. Um, for those of you who may be struggling in a love situation or a love connection, that could be um, maybe the person is really seeing your worth, right? Maybe it just wasn't evident to them before they really see the possibilities and could definitely be making some changes in order to bring the connection closer, take things deeper, take things to a higher level of commitment. We do have yin and yang. Okay, so this often signifies to me the divine feminine, divine masculine energy. It's a very balanced energy. It's the two of you balancing one another out. Okay, yin and yang is like one having, uh, one possessing, one party in the connection possessing one. What am I trying to say? Jesus Christ. <laughs> It's just a really even killed relationship is what I'm trying to say. Everything is balanced out. Okay. Every, each party knows their position. That's what we're trying to say. Everybody is playing their position. And because of that, it allows for things to be equally and um, it, it allows for equilibrium in the relationship. So that's very beautiful to start out. I, I do like it. I like it so far. We'll have to see where else we go. Let's take a few of these cards here. Okay, I don't know why I did that, but I did take a look at the bottom of the deck and it says I feel stupid. So I don't know if this is somebody who is now realizing what they had. Um, this could be someone that you're disconnected from. Maybe there was a lot of equilibrium in the connection. Somebody could sabotage the connection um, with that yin and yang card that definitely gives me like twin flame vibes or just a really um, divinely guided soulmate. Uh, they could have possibly gotten scared 
about about just how strong the connection was okay let's just take a closer look here let's see what we get blossoming abundance irregardless so if the relationship pans out you you definitely have like money coming in i i do feel that something that is going to yield you a lot of financial abundance toxic wow that's the first card out oh no I don't know, Aka. Let me take a closer look here. Okay, so you may have been dealing with a toxic individual. Someone who was only focused on their own growth. Um, a self self-absorbed individual. Dang, I dropped a card. Hold on, guys. It's coming. You cards dropped here. Okay. Passion, situationship, yikes. Okay, so you may have really saw the possibilities with someone. You really saw yourself growing abundantly into this relationship, um, marriage and kids and sharing finances. Um, this They feel stupid now. I did see that card, okay? We can't even deny or lie. This is someone who now sees what the connection was. They initially possibly did not want a higher level of commitment. They were not they were not committing to the relationship. They may have just wanted um, a friends with benefits type of situation. Yep, more than the two of us. And because of this, you are now not speaking to this person. I do feel that. They may have thought that you would stick around and tolerate this. Okay? They may have thought that The connection or the emotional attachment was strong enough for you to accept this. <laughs> well, that wasn't, <laughs> that wasn't smart. Yeah, they feel stupid. That's what that card said. So this is somebody, this is a pattern for them, guys. This is how they treat love situations. This could be somebody who tries to avoid. I'm being taught a lesson. Yeah, so karma is now kicking their ass. For those of you who have started something new, um, or you will be, it is the it is this glow up that they see either on social media. Um, you they may bypass you in the street. You don't see them out at the store or whatever. They they can see you. They're watching you, um, and they see you growing abundantly. And they now feel stupid because this could have been a really beautiful relationship. They may have fumbled this. Let's see. Arrogance. Yeah. So this person is very arrogant. They are. So so I was right. So they, they thought that you would accept this, Aqua. They thought that you would be down for the situationship, for just the passion, um, for them keeping other people involved, third parties, um, for them having them cake, their cake and eating it too. Okay? I'm being taught a lesson. So th like I said, this is a pattern for this person. And because you have disconnected yourself from them, I think that they now feel an imbalance. Okay? I get the notion that this person now, they can now see the, situ the situation between the two of you for what it was. Which was a very beautiful love connection. I feel like you really tried it with this person. You have a lot to offer. Um, and now it's like the people that they are dealing with or the, the situations, um, the connections that they now are entering do not provide them the same level of stability. Yeah, so this is somebody who is used to people just taking whatever it is that they, they put on the table. <laughs> really? Oh, Really? Yeah, they, they, this person, okay, so they may get a lot of attention, Aqua. They get a lot of attention. They expect people to just accept whatever offer they put on the table. This is somebody who is quite used to um, people bending at their will. They are used to getting um, whatever it is that they want. And this is a very toxic trait of theirs, okay? I do get the sense that this person um, emotionally manipulates as well. So what they do is, um, I really don't like the feeling that I'm getting. This person, ooh, yeah, they want to know if there's still a chance. What they do, Aqua, is they come in with all of the passion, okay? And their passion can sometimes be mistaken for, like, love, you know? Like, real intimate feelings, feelings of intimacy, 
all right? But then that quickly changes to them acting in this more non-committal energy. But because you have already grown an emotional attachment to a person like this, it's kind of hard to then cut all strings. You see what I'm saying? So they, they like to get people stuck emotionally. They like to get people emotionally invested within them and then they pull the cord. That's how this person works. That is disgusting. I don't like it. They're being taught a lesson now, okay? The lesson is to watch you move on. I do feel that. The lesson is for them to watch you move on to something more uh, stable, something more fulfilling. Um, it's for them to watch you have with someone else what they could have had with you. So I do get the feeling that this person has like a massive ego that is really going to break their ego, especially if you've already started seeing somebody. This is the lesson they feel like they're being taught. All right, so we have waiting for you. So you're definitely not talking to this person. You have removed yourself. You have ejected yourself out of this situation. It was toxic. Yeah, so you were no longer going to accept that. I don't know why they ever thought that you would. Yeah, it's because they're arrogant. This person is used to people just taking whatever. Whatever they have to offer. That is what they are used to. Wow. And they're not offering much. They're offering sex. That's it. Okay? And they're sticking that wand everywhere. They're just... Wow. I feel like you really cared about this person. You really tried to show them another side. This is somebody who is normally non-committal, but they, they were using a lot of language that made you feel as though they were in it for the long haul. And that is the toxicity. It's almost like you feel like they bamboozled you, hoodwinked you. Now they're waiting for you. Now they wanna know if there's another chance, but you, you were toxic. I think at the beginning of this reading, didn't I say that you have refocused your energy? So you are totally not focused on this person. They possibly cannot even find you. You are not speaking to them. You either left them on red or you just fell off of the face of the earth. They cannot, they're not, you're not speaking with them. They are waiting. They're waiting patiently. So this person could have definitely like sent you a message and you just never responded. Or if you blocked them, they did send you a message. You just never got it. I'm being taught a lesson. So they now see what it is that they have lost. I'm using the muse deck, by the way. Yeah, we have the six of emotions. So this person is being very nostalgic now, guys. They're thinking back over the course of everything that it is that they have done. I do think that the toxic traits that this person possesses stems from something that happened way before they met you. It doesn't have to necessarily be childhood, even though we do see a child here. Um, and their thoughts, right? This is somebody thinking back. So it could definitely be something that stemmed from their childhood, something within um, a marriage or relationships that makes them uh, feel as though they need to protect themselves. Like this is a defense mechanism, okay? Or it could be a relationship that they really did give into. They gave their all to it and then they got burnt. So now they're just, they're, they're bitter, okay? They're scorned. They're going around hurting everybody else now. <laughs> so and so what? Now they think that you're going to... Wow, this popped out. Yeah, you're not focused on them at all, guys. This is the forest war. So you are, you are resting. You are rejuvenating yourself. You have redirected your energy. You don't have time for this BS. That's what I heard. This person came in and they kind of threw you off balance. All right? So while you were giving and bringing balance and goodness into their life, they just kind of depleted you of your own. They didn't replenish you. All right? So you may have felt very, um, not, not only off balance, but you just felt like the toxicity in your whole energy after dealing with this person. This is why you have ejected yourself from this situation. You could feel the toxicity flowing through you, flowing through your energy. It could be in your moods um, and the way that you were just conducting yourself day to day. You can kind of feel when somebody who is toxic comes in and intoxicates your energy. This is what I feel. So you, are, you have now redirected and refocused your energy completely, which is beautiful. You have to take care of you because... Look, everybody's going to do what's best for themselves. 
So you have to make sure you're taking care of yourself as well. You have to make sure that you're you are you are really fully focused on yourself and that you are only giving to those who are going to replenish you. You see what I'm saying? Do not deal with people who are going to just take and take and take and take and take and leave you empty. Okay? And I do feel like this is what that person does. This is what they did. This is what they do. This is exactly what they do. You may have surprised them. Okay? They are a bit arrogant. So... In saying that, even though you're not focused on them and they can see that you're doing something, I don't know what it is, guys. It's it's either going to come to you intuitively or you have already begun. Um, you started something new and this is going to really pay off majorly for you with this blossoming abundance. Okay? It could be a new love relationship. I definitely feel money. Okay? Money is everywhere. Money will be everywhere. And so this is why now they, they feel stupid. Didn't, we, didn't I see that card earlier? Now they feel stupid because they, they definitely played themselves here. They tried to play you and they ended up playing themselves. And you don't care. You're just at the spa enjoying yourself. Look how she's soaking in this milk bath. And you have like a perpetrator over here. This person is definitely watching you guys. Look, it's the person right here watching her heal herself, watching her on the glow up, watching her not give a F about <laughs> them. That's what they're watching. They may a bit, be a bit um, envious, this person. Okay, so they may feel like they are lacking somewhere in their own life. They definitely could see the abundance with you. Oh, shoot. We can't take all of those, spirit. It says, yes, you do. Wow. Okay, so in this deck, in the Muse deck, there are no kings in this deck. There are only um, the highest cards in each of the suits is the Muse card. And that means that uh, whichever suit that is, you are going to be receiving that at the highest level. So we have three Muse cards, guys. This You cannot make this up. Abundance flowing epically. I mean, just everywhere. So we have Muse of Inspiration, Muse of Materials, and Muse of Voices. With this Muse of Inspiration card, I definitely feel like you are, you're high commodity right now, Aqua, okay? You're on everybody's radar. Everybody wants a piece, okay? People are trying to pounce. You're really giving into yourself and loving on yourself, and this is why you're attracting in that love. Um, Muse of Materials, that's money, guys. It's everywhere. Do you hear me? You will either um, get like some kind of inheritance or you're going to really run into a huge overflow of money. Um, so you're getting money, love, and then we have the Muse of Voices. Now, this is this is somebody who plays no games, okay? We're speaking only truth around here. You're about to get this whole truth and nothing but the truth. So I do feel like you spoke your peace to this person before you peaced out. We have all of the muses out here, guys. Muse of emotions. This is, this is wild. It is. Yeah. So you definitely have lots of love coming in, but look how she's drinking of her own cup. Okay? So even though you do have an abundance of love coming in, I definitely feel like new love is not going to be this toxic person. You've already let them go. You've already redirected all of your energy in the opposite direction. And look how she's just drinking of her own cup. And that's why you're so sexy. That's why everybody is going to try to come in and get you to share some of that cup too. Like, can I get a sip, please? Okay. Top shelf. That's all she's drinking. Okay, so you're really pouring into yourself. I love that. All right, then we have the three of inspiration. So they are waiting on you. This is the three of wands. This is somebody, okay, so look how in this card, it's like, the, it's like a domino effect. This person is very arrogant, so they never expect that you to like walk away or not answer them or not be into them. They expect people to give into whatever it is, give into their fuckery, give into their foolery. They expect people to just tolerate it. And you were like, yeah, definitely not. I don't have to. You, you don't. You got money. You're sexy as F. Okay, you got, you're pouring all of this love into yourself and that's the law of attraction. So it's only going to circle back around and come back to you. Okay, so once you start giving yourself 
all that it is that you've all already wanted, there's no way that you can accept less. That's the lesson from spirit for you. You pouring into yourself and giving yourself everything that you could have ever wanted. Then when people, suitors come, uh, offers come, nothing can come less than what you are giving yourself. Aha. Okay. Yeah. So now they're waiting. They're waiting on you. This person is super duper arrogant, guys. They think that you're circling back around. They think that you will be back. I think they will be sadly mistaken. I'm just saying. I don't I don't think you'll be back, Aqua. I mean, look, it's free will, but you have all of these muses out here. You have the sun. Okay? Yeah, look how she's just down there focused on herself, meditating, drinking her water, keeping herself hydrated, minding her business, waiting for the best possible offer. Yeah, so we're not going back to somebody who literally depleted you of everything, guys. They did. They were trying to take it all. But you smartened up. I think that um, I, do, I do definitely get the feel that you are in empress or either pre-empress status. So the empress has learned all of the lessons of the queens. So nothing gets past her, right? So this person, they were sadly mistaken. They, they, they definitely got the right one with you. And by the right one, I mean the wrong one. Okay. They were definitely messing with the wrong one. If they thought that you were going to stay in this. As soon as you felt that toxicity, you removed yourself. Because I get the feeling that this was same person, different face. Right? So you've dealt with this before. You've seen this before. You can see them coming from a mile away. And, and this person, they're just kind of waiting on you now. They're waiting for you to reach out or answer them or whatever it is. They may be waiting for things to cool down if there was a fight or an argument and see if they can come back around to see if you would be up for it again. And that is the universe. The universe will test us, guys. You do know that, right? So, yeah, you turned your back on this. You definitely passed this test. But don't be surprised if the universe doesn't say, now look, I'm about to give you everything, okay? You're about to have it all. Money, love, great sex, a bomb-ass job. Um, you're you're going to have it all, okay? And you're calling in people who will only be on that level as well. However, however, you got to show me. You have to show me that you are really done with this. And I do think that you are. I think that you learned rather quickly in this situation that... They were draining you. They were draining you. This could be a person, after you get off the phone with them, you could feel it all in your system. Like you're, you're automatically annoyed, irritated at everything, at anything. And it's their toxicity that brings, about, that brings that about. You see what I'm saying? So I'm glad that you learned that. And now you're focused on your own happiness. So I cannot stress this enough. You pouring into yourself, you focusing on yourself is only making other people focus on you too. Everybody's focused on you now. You're going to have offers coming from everywhere, guys. Look how confident she is. It's like, yeah, turning my whole back, my whole head to anything that is not bringing in exactly what I have manifested. And definitely not toxic ass people. We're not doing that. Definitely not. We're not doing that. Okay. So, I really like this energy. I do. And for those of you... Sorry, guys. I got a call. <laughs> for those of you who have not walked away from this, then you now know. Right? That's the move. This is definitely the move. This is the only move in order to call in the ultimate equilibrium in your life. That's what you want. You want to be balanced on all ends of the spectrum in every area. And so this person was throwing you off balance, but I think that you've got your mojo back now, guys. I do. You're going into a really beautiful time in your life. I think this year is going to be epic for you. I do. I'm just going to get these romance angels, get some uh, bit of advice for us, Aqua. I really do like this. I like it. It's like you can't control people. You can't, right? You can't control how MFers will treat you. But what you can do is navigate them in and out of your life, 
okay? You're the boss. You're the CEO. You promote and demote. That is your that is your right to do that. So it's also about learning that you can't control people, but you can control who you allow and what you allow, right? Definitely. What advice do we have for my aqua spirit? Ooh, 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 ooh. What advice for my Aquarius gang? Some of you are going to be getting married. Okay. <laughs> Worth waiting for. Guys, this person will be back. But I, I definitely get it's a test. It's a test, okay? Divine timing is at work in your love life. Yeah. So this person is waiting, but you are also waiting. You're definitely not accepting that offer. So yeah, you're waiting to level up. Once you have disconnected from this person, they're not even going to be appealing to you any longer, especially for how they were behaving. You know that they're toxic. You can feel it instantaneously after you let them back in, especially if you've had a few cycles with them. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So I do feel like the universe is guiding you towards something much better. People who are much better. People who are much healthier, okay? And we have heart-to-heart -heart conversations in the reverse though, okay? Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. And this person, yeah, they wore a false mask. They were a liar, guys. They lied about it all. This person was all about the passion, but I don't think that they presented themselves like that in the beginning, okay? They definitely came in as if they were someone who was wanting a relationship. When all, when in fact, um, when in all actuality, all they were wanting was a situationship. So you, you removed yourself and that is beautiful. And because you have done that, because you have done that, boom, you're getting it all. You're getting it all. Okay, this beautiful garden, like blossoming. That means it's growing from the roots. That means you've planted the correct seeds to ensure that what grows out of your, your, your harvest is exactly what you want. So this is why this person had to be removed, okay? This person would, uh, would, would kill all of the rest of the beautiful... Um, flowers and shrubbery it, it's like a weed it's like having a weed in the rest of your beautiful uh landscape it will kill it all so you have to get them out of that get them out of your energy so that this can blossom correctly okay and you nurture it you water it you make sure that by the time the universe is like okay you have learned everything is coming to you guys muse of materials <laughs> muse of inspiration Muse of voices. If they come back, you definitely might give them a piece of your mind. I do feel that. Yeah, we're not being nice anymore. Not that you're being, not that you're being uh, nasty for no reason, but just definitely being very honest with people. Okay. I mean, whether it hurts your feelings or not, I have to, I have to do for me what I need to do for me because they obviously were doing for them what they, what they wanted. They, they were operating in the same energy that they have their whole lives guys their whole lives their whole lives this is what it has been about they are non-committal they're thinking about this they are kind of thinking about their um track record of relationships but that's not like a personal problem to me i don't know i don't know correct me if i'm wrong Uncle. that sounds like a personal problem to me okay and so let them go and do their work while you call in your beautiful harvest, okay? Your beautiful relationship. Your bags on bags on bags. Coinage everywhere. I do feel that, guys, okay? Please let me know if this has resonated. Click that like button. Click the subscribe button, Aquas. This has been your daily reading. I will reconvene with you guys next time.